Okay, so uh, this is kind of, will be a little quick, but this is uh, a re-derivation of the B matrix for a general finite element planar, because um, I went through it kind of quickly in class. So again, the notion is here, we're going to be looking at B matrix for planar elements planar finite elements. Okay? So these are ones that are going to have the following relationship. We want to get the strain in the x, the strain in the y, and the shear strain in the xy plane related through this B matrix to the nodal displacements, which are going to be like U1, V1, U2, V2, UN, VN. So I should always make these big enough. Okay? So this is my strain vector, and this is my displacement of nodal unknowns for the element. And just to recall, the strain in the x direction is the partial of U with respect to x, so we'll be taking the partial of the approximation of the displacement in the x direction. The strain in the y direction, the normal strain in the y direction, is the partial of the v displacement with respect to y. And the in-plane engineering shear strain is the partial of u with respect to y plus the partial of v with respect to x. So let me just define this a uh, couple other matrices. So. Um, u of x, I should, I should actually have u of x and y, that actually should be a function of x and y. Okay, let's try it again. u of x and y, the approximation, is, um, can be written as follows, right? n1 times 0, n2 times 0, n3 times 0, to the nth node, 0, times this displacement value, right? u1, v1, u2, v2, un, vn. So I'm going to define this as nx. So this is a vector of shape functions that interpolates the displacement in the x direction. Right? I guess maybe I guess a better notation might actually be call this nu. Okay. Likewise, I can do the same in the y direction, and that's going to be since we just want to pick out the v values. It's going to be zero, and one, zero, and two, zero, and three, zero and n, whoops, times this same displacement vector. So we can squeeze it in there. D. And we're going to call this one n v, because that interpolates the y displacement. Okay, these are the shape function vectors that interpolates the y displacement. Okay, so now using those, we can get the strain in the x direction is the partial derivative with respect to x of the displace the interpolation of the displacement in the x direction so that's the partial with respect to x of this n u vector times d okay this is constant so this just becomes the partial derivative with respect to x of nu times d. Likewise, this normal strain in the y direction, it's the partial with respect to y of v. And so that's uh, this is nv times d. And so this becomes 
the partial with respect to y of n v times d. And then the shear strain, xy, is the partial of vh with respect to x plus the partial of uh with respect to y. So again, doing the same trick, this will give me the partial of nv with respect to x times d plus the partial of nu with respect to y times d. Or I can pull the whole thing out, partial of nv with respect to x, partial of nu with respect to y, y, this whole thing times d. All right. So now I just need to write this in terms of matrix form. All right. And um, let me do that on a new piece of paper. So that will give me. Epsilon x, epsilon y, gamma xy equal times d. So the first row is going to be the partial of nu with respect to x. The second row is the partial of nv with respect to y. And the third row is going to be the sum of the partial of n u with respect to y plus the partial of n v, those are vectors, with respect to x. And this is the B matrix. Okay. So now if I write that out, that gives me that the B matrix, let's try to make this nice and big, Okay, partial of nu with respect to x, so that's uh, partial of n1 with respect to x, 0, partial of n2 with respect to x, 0, partial of nn with respect to x, 0. Okay, so I can get three terms on there. So this is the first node, the terms of the second node, and then the terms of the nth node. So all the little dot, dot, dots, ellipses in here. The second row, now this is the partial of nv, so the nv's uh, just occupy the y displacement, the y degree of freedom, so this is partial of n1 with respect to y, 0, partial of n2 with respect to y, and then finally 0 partial of nn with respect to y. So the last row is basically this row, but derivative with respect to y, plus this row, except that the derivative is now with respect to x instead of y. Okay? Add those together, you can see you know, they're always 0 above, so they just add up easily. So this gives me partial of n1 with respect to y, partial of n1 with respect to x, partial of n2 with respect to y, partial of n2 with respect to x, and then finally partial of nn with respect to y, partial of nn with respect to x. And this is the B matrix. And you can see each one of these, this is sort of a B matrix for node 1, a B matrix for node 2, and a little B matrix for node n. They all have this same form, partial derivative with respect to x, partial derivative with respect to y, and then both in the bottom row, except they have this mixed nature because they're the shear strains, okay? And that's it. Hope that's a little clearer.